This is the light I have been using to light my live streams and I feature this in a separate video when I took it to bits and took a look inside. But this particular light is just too bright. I mean, seriously, it's ferociously, it's just an absolute whiteout in the live streams. It's quite uncomfortable to look at and also it's making my pallid honky face white out. So I want to adapt this. I have been trying diffusion over it and I've tried bits of paper just to try and basically tame it down almost like a neutral density gel so to speak but with no luck so let's get this open let's take a look at the tiny little driver circuit board inside um, and let's see if I can find the sense resistors which I'm going to guess are on the bottom of this are they in the bottom? yes there's the sense resistors uh, let, me just, uh, let me just short out the capacitor in this well, let's just do it with my fingers. Eh, right, it's dead. Righty, let's uh, take a look at what I believe are the sense resistors. So I'll zoom down, zoom. I reckon the sense resistors are these two resistors here because I think they're in parallel. I shall check that. Uh, zooming back out. I'm going to get the solder iron on here. <clears throat> In the background, I'm going to take a look at these. I'd expect them to be a very low value. They are indeed a low value. 1.5 and 3.6. Okay, 1.5 is the one that's going to have the most significant effect in that. But if I was to remove that 1.5 so that the 3.6 ohm is the dominant resistor, then theoretically that's going to tame the light down considerably. You know what? Before I even do this, I should measure the power, shouldn't I? That'd be a good idea. And we'll see what it drops to. So here is the hoppy. Gathering dust at the moment. Simply because I've been making a lot of mess recently. Uh, plug it in. It says 21 watts. Let's see if we can reduce that. Uh, and I reckon this is going to be reduced quite a lot. This time I will short that out because it's quite freshly charged. Yeah, it's discharged. Right, so that was uh, about 21 watts, which is ferocious from lighting-wise. And I'm going to move this resistor here. And the way I'm going to do that is... So let me just double-check. That is the... Yeah, that is the 1.6 ohm. Am I going to regret this? I probably will. I've got other resistors I can always put in in its place. Right, where is a bit of solder? There's a bit of solder. I'm simply going to flood a bit of solder on top with the solder iron and then just splooge that resistor off. I'm just going to basically slide it off the circuit board. So engulf it in solder so it basically... Oh, there it goes. Right, Righty-ho. So now the value of that resistor has gone up from less than 1.6. It's now up to uh, 3.6. That's going to drop its power considerably. I may have to uh, add another resistor back after this. Let's bring in the hoppy and see what my modification has done. So that was 21 watts. I'm guessing this is going to be way lower now. Oh, that is way lower. It's 6 watts. Okay, it's still not bad. I'm going to go and I'm going to test that and see if that's bright enough. If it's not, I shall uh, add another resistor in to try and tweak that. I'll be back shortly. That worked absolutely perfectly. It's gone down to basically a third of what it was before, which is a good level of light. It's enough to actually film by without getting that glaring swamp of light that was coming out before. But also, because it's reduced now, this fixture, from running at 20 watts, it's down to about 6 watts. It's going to be running much cooler, so that's going to make this last a lot longer as well. It's also quite uh, pleasant to actually have that shine your face instead of what it was before. Let me bring it in a notepad and show you exactly what I did there and how it had the effect. So these uh, circuits have a sense circuit. So if that's the if this is switching from say the positive rail through the inductor. Uh, let me see what type is it. Is it a buck? It's a buck. Re no, is it a buck regulator? I think it is a buck regulator. But they have the inductor and then it goes through the unit and then there's a sense resistor that they measure the voltage cross. And they, by adjusting that sense resistor, 
you can determine how much current flows in the circuit. So in this case, it had two in parallel. And this isn't uncommon. What they do is they have the base resistor. Uh, what is the one that's left there? I can't remember. I think that one was 1.6 and... So this is 3.6. Was it 1.6 or 1.5, the one that I whipped off? So uh, it's got 3.6 uh, ohms. And then it had the other one in parallel with it. If I... Look, there it is. It's tiny. It's minute. It's... it's. I've just dropped it. There it is. I shall try and drop it there so it lands printed side up so I can look at it with the magnifying glass. It's 1.6. Okay. So this is 1.6 ohms. And uh, the combined resistance will actually be just less than 1.6 ohms when you've got uh, them in parallel. So the lowest value minus the percentage with that. And this is a, this 1.6 ohm is acting as the main resistor. And then this larger value ohm is just fine tuning that. This is what happens when you put them in parallel like this. The actual combined value is lower than the sort of uh, individual resistors as such. So um, what I did there was I knocked this one off. And that uh, then changed the current sensing so that it's the it measures the voltage across this. So that when the current reaches a certain threshold, it will actually cut back. And that's what it's doing with that higher value of resistor. For a given current, that voltage will be reached faster. And that's why it's tamed back down. So that's a good result. It's a, a good way to tweak lights. I've tweaked other lamps before, like the Poundland style, really super high power uh, lamps can be just made to last a lot longer by just by tweaking those resistors. But that is a good result. That's achieved the result I wanted. So um, that's for the Saturday live streams over on Big Clive Live, the other channel, the live stream channel. But there we go. That's a good result.